Hello everyone, and welcome to the Brick Formula review of LEGO Set 9461, The Swamp Creature. And it has 70 pieces, afraid to send the 14. And it's from the Monster Fighter series, and this set retails for $6.99. And here in the front, we can see Frank Rock totally missing the Swamp Creature, because, you know, there goes the missile there. Up here, we have the actual size of the minifig, in case you were wondering. And here in the back, we can see that the Swamp Creature got the Moonstone. And Frank Rock's going to ask him nicely for it, even though he has all the guns and missiles pointing at him. But anyway, I'll talk about this set in more detail, coming up. Here are the minifigures, and first up is the Swamp Creature. And he is exclusive to this set, and for the most part he looks okay. He's got a lot of scales there on the front, and on the back. I especially love his headpiece though, and that can come off, and here's a closer look. And there's his face where it looks pretty scary. Looks like someone had too much Red Bull. And he comes armed with a spear. Next we have Frank Rock. And he looks like a pretty interesting character. He's got an oil stained shirt and really big knee pads. And there's the view of the back. And there's a close up at his face where it looks kind of dirty. Maybe he got beat up or something. But he does have an alternate face where he has the shades on and he looks really cool. And this is where he says, yeah, you should have seen what I did to the other guy. And in case anyone's wondering, here's what a minifig looks like with the mask of the swamp creature. And it kind of reminds me of Kick-Ass. Next we'll take a look at the little swamp area where you have the Moonstone. And here's what the Moonstone looks like. It's a printed piece and this gives you the power to control water. Which I guess is pretty powerful just by itself. And in front of the Moonstone we have a fish and a frog, which is all part of a swamp creature's daily balanced diet. And finally we'll take a look at the swamp boat. And I actually like the way it looks. Here's a view of the side. And on the sides here we have lights and flick fire missiles. And they can move up and down. Here's the view of the front, and right here is where we can store Frank Rock's revolvers when he's not using them. I kind of wish they were more level with the boat, but I guess that's fine too. Here's the view of the bottom where we got slide shoes. And here in the back we have the fan. Now the thing about the back, I feel like there's a small design flaw here, because when you play with the flick fire missiles, I recommend you just push them. Because a lot of times when you try to flick it, you'll end up flicking the fan too, which is something that was probably not intended. But then again, it looks pretty neat back here, so I guess we'll just leave it alone. And here's the view at the top, where we have two joysticks. And this is where we're going to have Frank Rock take a seat and enjoy himself. And overall, it looks pretty good. Not bad, right? And now we can move on to the recommendations. Overall, this is a pretty good set. When it comes to the value, we have a price per piece ratio of $0.10 cents per piece. And we're getting about $7 to $8 worth of parts here, not including the minifigures. The Swamp Creature, just by himself, is worth about $5. And Frank Rock is about $2. I guess he's not that important. But anyway, when it comes to the play value, I say it's pretty good too. The boat just by itself is a lot of fun. We got fleet fire missiles, and we have someone to shoot at too, which is always nice. So in the end, it's a pretty worthwhile set to get, and that sums up my review. I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.